coach of the Hong Kong Sevens and uh, head of performance and coaching for the Hong Kong Rugby Football Union. Five on six, let's go! The Asian series gives us a huge uh, barometer in terms of marking our performance um, and seeing where we are uh, at the end of this season and as we move into the Hong Kong Sevens to see where we move forward then for next season into the World Cup qualifiers. So preparations have gone well, introduced a production of a, a number of new players and uh, really excited about the tournament today. This start of the HSBC series is, uh, is a great, uh, great tournament for us. There's four tournaments, two ranking this year. Uh, the intensity within sevens um, over the next three months is, is fantastic in Asia. We hope to take a team as well down to the Gold Coast Sevens um, to compete against some of the IRB teams. Um, but our sevens real intensity will be over the end of November and then it will be switching to some preparation for the HSBC Asian Five Nations and the extended squad of 15s. I started when I was, I was seven years old. Um, this is actually, this will be my fifth, uh, fifth year with the Hong Kong Sevens team. So, um, so uh, I, I'd, I'd like to say I'm an experienced guy in the team now. Um, uh, it, it's, been, it's been good, it's been fun. Um, we've worked hard uh, during the off season, tried to get a little bit bigger. Never really works out quite the way I wanted to, but uh, now I'm feeling quite good and I think I just, I just can't wait to get out there and actually play. It's fun to see everyone piling on top of each other to get the ball. You could tackle each other. Uh, I first started playing for Kai Tai Tigers when I was about nine. I saw an ad at the Rugby Sevens and my friend and I decided to sort of go down and sort of caught on from there. Yeah. I'm not that superstitious, but I do tend to follow the same routine. Um, usually early morning we've got um, a swim or something like that in the morning to wake us up and we do the hydration test to make sure we've drunk enough and um, I follow the same sort of stuff, try and drink, try and drink lots of fluid and things like that. Uh, but I don't have any like weird rituals like putting on my right sock before my left or anything like that. Some of the boys do but I don't, I don't do anything like that. First time I, I watched the rugby is in the Hong Kong Stadium, that uh, is the Hong Kong Sevens. I think it's uh, in 2006 years, uh, yes, that, that moment, I, I thought, uh, why, why have um, 14 people in the pitch only? No local people, just only 14. And then I think this sport is very easy. To, uh, to pay uh, because just what uh, catch the ball and one and then catch the ball and hit hit the space yeah that's it uh, so attract uh, attract me to play to rugby and after that and um, enjoy the summer course every score make me successful successful yeah so I want to play rugby yeah, I think my first rugby experience was um, I started playing rugby at the Hong Kong Football Club in the under 11s, I think. Um, so I must have been 10 years old and uh, my big brother sort of inspired me to do it because at the time he was playing quite well in Hong Kong and um, yeah, he was just sort of my idol growing up so I wanted to be like my big brother and my dad was a very good rugby player back in Scotland and um, yes, yeah, so I've just got a very sporty family and just got it in that way and just gradually picked it up. Um, yeah. Keeps you fit, keeps you out of the office. Um, yeah, no, I enjoy it. It's, it's great, great lifestyle. Hong Kong's great as well. So.